Hi guys and welcome to Radwolf and Bushcraft. Thanks a lot for tuning in. In this video I want to have a look at this jacket right here, the Cyclone Rescue Jacket 2.0 issued by Revolution Race from Sweden. And if you want to learn whether this jacket actually suits your personal needs in the outdoors and whether it's suitable for bushcraft and survival related activities, then join me in this video. Let's go! All right, let's dive right into the review. And as you can see, it's starting to rain. So there's already the first feature that I like about this jacket. It has a nice spacious hoodie, right? <laughs> so I can get myself some protection against the weather. And yeah, also if you take a look right here, I don't know if you can see this well on the surface of the cloth. This is a so-called Hypershell Pro fleece or yeah, Hypershell Pro cloth that they worked into this jacket. And it's incredibly water repellent. I have to say that I always did try when I was wearing this jacket and I tested it for maybe six months now. Um, just works perfectly well. Again, as you can see, it's purling off really, really nicely. What's also great about this jacket, it has a couple of bags. If you can see this right here, we got one really big bag on the left hand side, one really big bag on the right hand side. Then right here, we do have a smaller bag for example, for your ski pass and such. And also on the inside, right here for your MP3 player with an opening, so you can put out your cable and your headphones or maybe put in some documents, right? Then also on this side, if you can see this, you've got this netting for any type of map or documents that you would like to carry. So yeah, the overall experience with the jacket is a pretty nice one. Um, what's also really great, I'm going to show you this in a close-up, is that we have these type of yeah, seam reinforcements. So basically what we have here is kind of a taping of the seams of the jacket itself, which makes it waterproof even in the weaker spots, right? And also another great feature. Again, as you can see, you know, the, the weather's picking up and um, there's more and more rain incoming. You can really close this jacket up to your neck right here and even pull it tight in case of wind so you've got a zipper to regulate the the yeah, width basically the yeah, diameter so to speak of your um, your collar you can tighten that up and you've got these cords right here so you can get really snuck into this capuchon into this hoodie and um, yeah I just like this really, really much because as you can see, if you're in weather conditions like these, you need to protect yourself from the elements. What's also really great about the jacket is that it's incredibly thin. So let me just show that again. I don't know if you can see this well on camera, but we're talking about like two to three millimeters in thickness here. So it's a very, very thin and very compact jacket that you can also wrap up and put into your backpack. So that's all great stuff. Bear with me folks, while the rain keeps on pouring down, I'm just gonna take you right over here a bit deeper into the woodlands just to get out of that <laughs> rain shower and then we just continue with the review. <laughs> so let's uh, take at least a little bit of shelter. As you can see, I'm already soaking. Not from the inside though, which brings me back to the jacket. Um, when it comes to its rainproof abilities, it's a great jacket. As you can see right here, you know, from the outside, it looks as if I'm completely soaking wet, but I'm dry from the inside and that's just amazing. Um, the company also claims that this jacket can hold up to 10,000 millimeters on the water column. I don't know if that's true. Um, it's hard to test, but I can tell you, you know, it is rainproof and really, really good when it comes to these kind of conditions. The same also accounts for wind. I made the experience that um, yeah, this jacket is incredibly windproof. It's blocking out all the cold air. And if you want to check this out, I'm just going to give you a link up in the information box there, which will lead you to yeah, a video in which I'm on the North Sea at the coastline with a wind force of about six to seven before. So it's blowing quite a lot. And you can see that the jacket just performs absolutely well. Yeah, so overall, in regards to bad weather conditions, um, it's an awesome product, I have to say that. Also because it's so lightweight and you can fold it up and put it in your backpack and take it out when you need it, just in a situation like this. Um, what's also a pretty cool feature is that this jacket comes with the so-called Reco 
reflector. This is this one right here and I'm gonna show you a close-up too. Basically this reflector is a passive reflector for search and rescue helicopters. RECO technology works with waves. It's basically reflecting these waves back up into the helicopter of the search and rescue team. And if you should get lost somewhere or maybe if you're skiing and you get trapped in an avalanche or any of these kind of scenarios, they can locate you with this jacket. So that's just amazing. I've never tried this before, but I had my fair share of experiences in the Alps in which I got lost and I didn't have these things. So I'm really happy that I own this jacket now because next time I'm going somewhere remote, I will definitely take that. Also pretty cool is that the entire jacket series um, comes in different types of colors. So I got the olive green one, being a woodsman, right? But you could also go for a neon orange one or a neon yellow one or a shiny red one or shiny blue one. You got so many varieties that you can choose also with signal colors. So that's also a really great thing of the jacket. But yeah, as it goes, there's also a couple of negative attributes of the jacket, which we will have to discuss too. The first negative thing I noticed about this jacket, um, using it for a couple of months now, is that it also does come with a Velcro strip at the sleeve, and I don't like that at all. I know that a lot of people will disagree with my opinion here, but um, yeah, as you can see, it comes loose so easily. And it's just a pity because if you want a proper windbreaker jacket, you want to close these things off thoroughly. You know, it needs to be really tight, but I don't even have to pull hard and it comes loose. And there's not any type of um, fibers or cloth or dog hair in there yet. So the more you use this and the more stuff that's accumulating in there, the worse it's going to get throughout time. And now it's also wet. Again, if you can see this, it comes loose so easily. So that's just a pity. It would be better to add a cord in here so you can pull it shut and basically use your stopper pearl to close off your sleeve right here. Another point of criticism is the lack of heat retention of this jacket. And let me just give you the specifications as they are mentioned on the website of Revolution Race. When it comes to windproof and waterproof factors, the jacket is indicated with a 5 out of 5 points. And that's true, I would agree to that. But when it comes to heat retention, the manufacturer claims that this jacket scores a 3 out of 5. And I would go so far to say that at best it would score a 1.5. And why is this? Well, um, the jacket is incredibly breathable. So in summer months, it's a great jacket to wear. But right now, with these weather conditions, a little bit of wind and also um, yeah, temperatures at around 10 degrees Celsius, um, the Fahrenheit, I'll put in the subtitles for those who don't use the Celsius system. Um, yeah, in, in these conditions, you know, it's not retaining any body heat. It's just dispersing it off your body. And as you can see, I'm just wearing this cotton shirt underneath my jacket and I'm getting pretty fresh, pretty chilly. And it's something to bear in mind because the jacket is advertised as a skiing jacket and you might think like, yeah, nice, you know, I'm just gonna layer and make it all cozy and do kind of like the onion look with all these things. But the jacket as such simply doesn't manage to retain the heat. You would have to buy extra clothing if you're looking for a bad weather jacket that actually keeps you warm. And then there's a third point um, that I find rather critical. If you look here, you got these beautiful zippers which enable your heat to disperse, right? So if you're sweating or so, you can regulate your body temperature, which in essence is great. But I don't know why the manufacturer didn't put a netting inside. Many great jackets have this netting and hold these yeah, flappy pieces of cloth in place. But here this isn't the case and it's kind of annoying because if you're working with, let's say for example, logwood or so, this stuff could end up in here. See, and then you just pull it around. So specifically for the task of bushcrafting, I find this to be problematic. It's not a big issue, but it's still worth mentioning. So before I wrap up the video, let's just quickly recap all these experiences that I had and um, just talk a little bit about my personal recommendation in regards to this jacket. Um, it's a great all-rounder. That's basically the bottom line. It's waterproof, windproof, it's lightweight, and it's great for any type of outdoor activity that is allocated somewhere between trekking, hiking, skiing, and all these kind of things. Speaking of skiing also, if you noticed, the hoodie is pretty big, so you could even fit a skiing helmet underneath. 
that's on purpose so if you are into skiing you might want to have a look at that again about the Rico or Reco reflector great stuff that's high-end technology and I think that this also justifies the price because the jacket as such is priced at 180 euros and I would not pay that money for a jacket like this if it wouldn't come with the Reco yeah, reflector system in this jacket that would be overpriced but um, this is basically a life insurance if you're out there and you get lost this increases your chances tremendously to survive so speaking of survival great idea here good job cannot say anything else um, heat retention again stays a problem but you can layer other types of clothing so I do not really you know add a negative point here there's ways to work around that okay and yeah other than that, minor things, Velcro, unfortunate, but hey, the world doesn't end because of that, right? And yeah, I personally would recommend this for any type of sporty activity. I don't know if I would particularly recommend it to yeah, bushcrafters who are spending long times outdoors and uh, do a lot of heavy work with natural materials. There are other jackets uh, that are better in my opinion. If you want to learn about these jackets then just drop a comment below and just ask me for a review of my other jackets and I will do so and just yeah, film a bit and tell you what else I wear out there in the woods. And yeah, I would just say in order to wrap up the video make sure to check the info box below because Revolution Race were kind enough to provide me with a unique discount code. You can use this after the release of this video and just get a couple of percentages off the actual jacket or maybe also the pants or whatever you want to buy from the company um, if the jacket isn't for you well then that's that and other than that i can only say thanks for watching i hope that this video really was of value to you if it was give it a thumbs up it helps the channel tremendously it influences the algorithm and hence <laughs> gives me more visibility which is always great and yeah if you're not a subscriber yet Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification button so you stay up to date about upcoming uploads. And other than that, again, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, enjoy the outdoors, and see you in the next video, all right? Bye. There's actually one point I forgot in this video, and that's put your gear to use. As you can see, these are my notes for the review, and I didn't pack them into my waterproof jacket. So yeah, that's what you get if you don't pay attention. <laughs> anyway, just joking, see you in the next video. Have a good one. If you want to support my channel, please consider becoming a Patreon. You can visit my Patreon page on www.patreon.com slash Bushcraft. A link to my Patreon page will also be posted in the information box below. Thank you in advance.